Classroom, Lesson 2, Module 5. Flipped Classroom is a type of blended learning model where students learn a new concept at home and practice working through it at school. However, the flipped classroom approach complements both the hybrid and remote learning models. The flipped classroom approach is based on Bloom's taxonomy. Traditionally, remembering and understanding lessons such as lectures took place in the classroom. Teachers then assigned higher order skills at home. The flipped classroom approach reverses this method, allowing the teacher to work with students while they are completing tasks that require applying, analyzing, and evaluating, and creating. In a flipped classroom, instructional materials are housed and organized in a learning management system. The LMS allows students to review materials quickly. Students who are absent can continue assignments and learning without interruption. Lesson design. Flipped classroom lesson plan may include standards, objectives, and learning targets. It is essential to develop the anticipatory setting to focus students on the learning prior to flipped instruction. Activities may include making connections to prior learning, real world connections, entrance slips, encouraging inquiry, and making prediction and making predictions and making predictions using charts such as and making predictions using charts such as KWL. Flipped instruction video lessons engage students and check for understanding by using platforms such as Insert Learning, Ebpuzzle, or Nearpod. Platforms such as Insert Learning, Ebpuzzle, and Nearpod allow the teacher to pause the video and embed questions to check for understanding. Practice includes small group. Hybrid or remote models would include breakout rooms. Another good tool to use is concept maps. A great way to assess is through a project-based activity. Students can demonstrate learning by creating a video, podcast, sketch note, blog, slide presentation, and an exit slip. Flip classroom in a traditional brick and mortar setting, students watch the video at home and are engaged in activities at school. The teacher has the flexibility to move around the room to answer questions and address misconceptions. Students may work independently or in small groups. Students complete more challenging tasks at school rather than at home. This provides the teacher with the opportunity to address misconceptions and assist students with higher order tasks. A flipped classroom lesson while remote, students watch the video before the virtual meeting. Expectations and an agenda are given to the students prior to the meeting. Students meet briefly as a whole group to review expectations and tasks. Students are placed in breakout rooms to complete the activity. Example, after studying a landmark, students work collaboratively on a Google Earth project. During another session, students share the presentation with a different group during a breakout session. Just as with brick and mortar, students are completing lower level activities independently. This allows class time to be used for addressing misconceptions and higher order tasks. Now that we have completed Lesson 2, Module 5, select one of the tasks below and upload to the Google Form located at the end of Module 5. A. Select a portion of a flipped classroom lesson and upload to Google Form for Lesson 2. Attach the video link to a Google Doc. Note, students must have consent to be recorded. B. Design a flipped classroom lesson plan and upload to the Google Form. C. Create a Flipgrid video or audio discussing how you have used or plan to use the flipped classroom model. Flipped classroom resources are included in the attached slide deck. This concludes Lesson 2 of Module 5.